Hey, Cider Crusaders, welcome back. Uh, it's time for our weekly check-in with the professor of virology at Columbia University. Uh, he's a household name, just known as the professor. And all my friends say, what's the professor say? What's the professor say? And I was like, well, I don't know. I'll ask him on Monday, and I'll get back to you. Uh, professor Vincent Raganiello. Professor, how are you, sir? I'm well, thank you. Good to see you Good again. Good to talk to you. Uh, microbe.tv and This Week in Virology is the podcast, everyone. Uh, and what's the line you start off with your podcast? You say, this is the podcast about viruses, the kind that make you sick. That's right. <laughs> it goes right into it. It's great. Um, all right, Professor. First of all, let's talk about Dr. Fauci. You got a Dr. Fauci interview for like an hour the other Isn't day. That great? Um, that was very cool. It was wonderful. It was great to listen to because it was like you guys were just talking shop. You know what I mean? Right. You guys were all on the same page. Um, you know, no lame media people who don't know what they're talking about. So it was, it was really, really good. So everyone go, please watch it. What do, you, what do we need to know about Dr. Fauci? What, what, him as a man and as a scientist? I've known Dr. Fauci for many years. He's a colleague of mine, right? I know his work. I know he, he's a leader of the, this part of NIH that's really important. He's a reliable guy. And if you got one thing out of that interview, it's that he really cares about people's health. Mm -hmm in this country. He wants to help everyone. He's put a lot of time and resources into, you know, diagnostics and vaccines and antivirals. And I think you should listen to him, not about what other people say about him, because from, as far as I can tell, he is a, a, the real deal. Yeah, I do not envy the position he's in, right? Trying to balance everything yeah. that he's trying to, not to mention his own health. Uh, just, it's wild. So, all right, so please go back, everyone watch that. Um, on microbe.tv. All right, so I got this article here, uh, a study from Nature. Uh, factors associated with COVID-19 deaths in 17 million patients. Hmm. Uh, what is your big takeaway here now that we got, well, 17 million data points? Well, first, the cool thing, this is a study out of the UK we talked about on Friday's TWIV. They have a computerized health records of everybody in the country. Yeah, you go to the physician, and there's a computerized record of what went on and it, all your information is there. So they can just grab all these records and look at trends. So they said, okay, all the people who are dying of COVID-19, what other things do they have? And I think it's very powerful. Things like you know, heart disease, diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, all of those things were associated with not having a good outcome that is dying of COVID-19. I wish every country could do this. It would be very powerful. Yeah. I, I, as I was skimming it, and I, this is way over my ability, but I noticed a lot about, uh, or something about organ transplant, as that being a, a pretty high risk factor too. Yeah, because you know, if, if you get an organ transplant, you get immunosuppressed, right? You have drugs that you mm -hmm. take to prevent your body from rejecting the organ. Got it. And so if you happen to get you know, infected at that point, the, uh, it's not good because your immune response can't even take care of it. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe, we got plenty.